is again DJ Vic Vapor with you. And I think we're going to wrap up the course for lesson 21, I believe we're on, with some automation. So we're going to kind of go over, you know, automating within the arrangement view, maybe fading in and like we have the pluck we have here. We have the little synth pluck. I think we're going to look at when we bring that in, we're just going to gradually autom automate that in. So let's take a look at that. So first I wanna, again, automation on the source. I'm gonna click right here, opens up my automation lanes and then I can widen or narrow that as, as I need fit. So that's what we have here. So first we're going to look at volume. I'm going to double click here. Set where we already have it. Uh, let's say maybe fade it in by about right here at full force. So let's give it a little fade right here. That should be pretty good right in there. I'm going to use my option key on my keyboard to give it a little curve. You know, I think what I want to do also is kind of add or open up by clicking right here the option to work with our delay. And our delay, I want to pick mix because it's sort of the dry wet. And I want to modulate this guy or automate, I'm sorry, automate this guy right here in about the same exact way. So that way, I might even want to add a little rise right there, and then back down. But let's put a curve on this first part. Let's see what we got there. So there you have it, some basic straightforward automation within the arrangement view. And if we choose, we can also click down here and have our separate window, little automation window in itself right here. And you can see similar expressions that I was using in the arrangement, just in a little bit closer, uh, more magnified view. And that's, that's with the button down here, show automation editor panel. You can do a little bit better, you know, I guess um, micro type editing if you wanted to take a look at it from that point of view. Of course, to hide it, we just click that back. So there you have it. Automation within Bitwig Studios. Thanks for push and play and following through the course. Hopefully you learned something along the way. I've enjoyed uh, kind of going through the course with you. Again, it, you know, it was intended as a beginner's course as it's titled. Very basic information. Didn't really go into detail on a lot of other stuff. I think I'm going to leave that for additional courses moving forward. Um, and I can't thank you enough. Subscribe, share, like, follow us on Facebook, all that fun stuff. And uh, by all means, if you feel the need to 
you know, contact me um, either via the YouTube comment sections or in a personal email or anything like that. And you have questions or concerns or just things maybe you don't want to ask in the open public format. Shoot me an email, shoot me a comment, uh, shoot me a message, whatever it may need to be. And uh, if I have a few minutes, I'll be happy to read through it. And I don't know all the answers every time, but certainly if I know the answer to your question, I'll be happy to respond.